Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mark Algae, and this is a case study of Dr. Shannon Parisi. Shannon had injured herself doing some Pilates exercises, and she came in with some hip and low back pain. So we did a range of motion exam on her. Then we performed some muscle testing. We did trigger point work on her psoas, her adductors, her hamstrings, her quadratus laborum. Then we adjusted her sacrum to the left, her L5 to the right, we performed a distraction, and then we adjusted her C1 on the left. After going back and rechecking her range of motion, it was greatly improved. This is that case study. Where do you hurt? I definitely feel it in my SI, but I def the psoas is definitely involved and maybe like QL. Can you bend over and touch your toes? No. <sighs> hurt myself. This is what happens you do too much Pilates. No, I didn't do enough, and then went back. Really tender, like inside. Right here. You ready? Yeah. Can you even do this? Push up. Not on the other side. Go. Push out for me. Okay, so we have no lower body strength. Good. No strength on the right lat. Go. All right. So we've got lower body weakness, posterior weakness on the upper torso. Whenever we do this to each other, we think we do this to our patient. I don't know. So this is one of the interesting things. We just did some trigger point work on one muscle, and it did cause other muscles to facilitate. I'm going to apologize in advance. <laughs> just push up for me. Go. Up, 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 up. No. How about this side? Up, 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 up. Okay, that one's good. Okay, that's much better. We're not done, but we're going to put you on your tummy. Sorry, Doc. I'm going to do this real gentle-like. So we're going to apply as much pressure as she can take, and I'll just feel her muscles tense up. Ow, ow, ow. Or she might tell me that it hurts. Or kick you. Or kick me. So the other muscles we're going to look at is the quadratus laborum. And then we'll go look at her low back. So we're just going to see what a little bit of trigger point work and massage can do for her before we get into any osseous adjusting. Same, better, worse. What's Walking that? feels good. It feels like it's pulling. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she also has some hypertonicity in her left side. <laughs> Probably won't want my face and the. That's probably the best part. So we're going to do some uh, trigger point on her inner quadratus lumborum. Ah. Uh, eek. Eek. Ah. Uh. So now we're going to do the right side. <laughs> we're actually doing the right side even though it's not tight. So we actually want to increase its ability to facilitate and see if it can counterbalance the left side which has too much uh, hypertonicity in it. So now we're going to check the doc's uh, hamstring muscles and we're going to look for normal patterns versus abnormal patterns. Doc, we're going to try this one. Pull this foot to your back. Don't let me pull. Okay. So that should be strong. It's not. We're going to check the other hamstring. And it should be strong and it is. We're going to challenge the sacrum to the left side of the table. Don't let me pull. That doesn't turn it on. We're going to push the sacrum in the other direction. That actually makes it really strong. We're going to double check by pushing in that direction just to be safe. Good. It's better. See if you can bend. All right, we're going to do your L5 in the other direction. I don't know if I can. Talk just on this side, face me. It feels uncomfortable. It's, it's, enough. it's bad. Real bad. This hurts. Like there's a big strain. Here. It actually feels like it's pinching right here. Let's do the setup and you tell me if you think you can handle okay. it. Just the setup, okay? Good. 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 Walk again? Just bend. It's not great, it's a little better. Doc, we're going to give you a lift. Let's do three more things. First things on your back, face up. I want to check some reflexes. Can we try this test? Mm -hmm. Push up. It feels also compressed. 
Ooh! What is that? It's your insertion for your... <sighs> that is a hot spot. I think you injured your quad, too. Real slow, Doc. Just see if you can... Up, 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 up. No, Which is my lumbar. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's check a few more things and turn your head to the right. Push out with your leg. Good. Keep your leg head there. Push out. Good. Those are normal. Head the other way. Push out. Okay. Try again. Don't give up. Go. So right now we're going to do some mobilization of the docks C1 without doing any osseous adjusting. We're going to see what impact that has on her lower body strength. We saw that she got better range of motion with that mid thoracic adjustment. So we know that an injury in the body sometimes is not one specific thing. It can be a combination of factors. Push out. There it is. Push out. Perfect. That might be what we needed. Now we're going to go see. Cervical guys were right. They were. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, much better. So this is a good example of when a patient has multiple problems. The doc had her neck was out, her thoracic was out, her lumbar was out, and her sacrum were out. And all those be areas being out, plus she had an injured hamstring, adductors, and uh, some other muscles in her low back. And so the combination of those factors were causing pain. After that last C1 adjustment, she has more fluidity of movement, so that's great. Thanks, Bob. Thank you.